this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be doing a design team project for May May Made It stamp sets. So let's get started. I'll be using two of the stamp sets today. One is called Sunflower Wishes, and the other one is called Country Pumpkin. And I know this is kind of off season, but the thing about May May's stamp sets that I really like is that you can use them like a year round. So I'm going to be using this stamp right here to create a background for the cards. And then the sentiments from this particular card, I'm just going to use just a note and the get well soon. These are really simple cards to make and you can make a bunch of them. I'll be sure to list all of the supplies that you'll need below. And uh, one of the, um, the stamps or the ink I'm gonna be using is Memento Dewdrop. And I love these inks. These are available in May May's store and I will list that link below. But these, I am having so much fun using these. So we're gonna be using two of the colors today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the pink and I'm going to show you in the blue. So this is called Summer summer Sky and this is called Angel Pink. Okay, so I'm gonna start creating our background and I'm going to use this arrow right here. And I'm going to do it in the angel pink right now. Okay. And I'm going to just have one going up the middle and then another one on the side here and another one on the side there. And so I'm going to start in the middle first because I can center it. Okay, and I love the way that looks because it's so soft and pastel-like. This is perfect. I'm really loving this super large stamping block too. It helps with some of those longer stamps. And look at that. I love the way that looks. Okay, we're also gonna do another one in blue, but before I do that, I'm actually going to put one of the sentiments on here, um, just a note. And so there's all kinds of this wishing you, this birthday. You can take out the individual words and put them together to form another word. That's what I like about this too. Uh, just a note to say thank you or to say thinking of you. Um, they've got birthday wishes on here also. So you, that's the nice thing about the versatility of this stamp as well. Okay, I'm gonna take my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the black soot, my favorite. I think that's probably the most used ink that I use is the Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to put this in black. And I love the, the way it looks. You can do any color, but I'm thinking because I'm doing a pastel to make the words really show up, I need to have a really bold color. So I'm going to take this 
Oh, let me just make sure I wipe this off because I don't want to get any black ink on there. Get a nice clean stamp. And just right in the center here. You could go above here if you want. You could go below here if you want and leave the pattern. But for some reason, I like the impact that it has. Just making it right in the center here. And look how pretty that is. Very nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this now, I'm going to go ahead and mount it on here. I'm going to stick it on there and then I'm going to mount it onto another card base. using my crafter's tape. This is so, I love this because it's so easy to handle. It's small. Put it right on there just to give it a border and I'm using the blue because that's what I have in my stash right now but it looks good okay and before we do that let's go ahead and stamp the blue one so you can see what that looks like okay and we're gonna do the summer sky And I'm going to put this, just turn it that way. And let me start in the middle here. And you can use this for all kinds of stuff. I mean, if you wanted to create this for, if you're doing a um, some invitations, just to do some simple, simple invitations and put like, um, you're invited or, or something like that. That, that was a, I think that would be a cool one too. Just trying to give ideas. This is like a baby blue. This is like a pink. I'm thinking like a baby shower or something. And this one is the type of stamp or the type of um, idea that you can make uh, a bunch of them quickly. Oops. Make sure I get a good stamp on that. And you see how that came out a little bit lighter? That's okay. I'm just going to go back over it. See if I can get a good press. Let's see. I got to get at a good angle here. Okay. And it's not perfect, but I'm okay with that. I might go in darker on this side also. And let's see. Okay, and I'm going to go over this one just one more time to make it match that side one. See, there's always a way around it if you make a mistake. And it's okay. I'm just going to press that one on there. Probably won't line it up perfectly. Oh, look at that. Okay. Looking kind of artsy there. And now it's time to put our sentiment on. I'm going to do the get well soon on this one.
And see, if you make a bunch of these, you can have these in your stash all year round. Because there's always someone that's under the weather and you might as well make your own. Okay, see I got a little bit of ink right there. I'm just gonna take my, this is just a wet wipe. Just wipe that off. Alrighty. And so that's what that one looks like. I'm gonna put it on a blue background. And the nice thing about this is that you don't have to be perfect. It's all about the thought that counts. I think sometimes we end up critiquing our work so much and doing all these do-overs that we forget to have fun. I tell you, I love creating cards and just trying out new ideas, and I am hooked. Okay, and so that's the way that one looks. And I am going to go ahead and put it on here. This one I'm going to put over on this. This is how you can mix up backgrounds. And this one I'm going to put on here. Look how pretty that is. I really like that. Um, this is kind of like a faded card stock, almost like a an off-white. And I love the way it looks against this right here, the outside, the off-white. But the brown looks good also. This kind of a light brown card stock looks pretty. You tell me which one you like. It's all about your preference. Okay, so I'm going to mount this on here. And I'm going to use these foam mounting tape that I got from, of all places, the Dollar Tree. And I'm mounting these on here because I, I just like the way that looks. Just gives it another dimension. Let me pop one in the middle here. I've been actually cutting some of these up to use less just to kind of save what I have, make it last longer. So you can always cut those up. See just how mounting that on the card base? I, I love that. It just kind of, just the little, little extras on there. Okay, and now I want to add something sparkly. You can leave it like this and be done and then just write your little uh, sentiment, stamp a sentiment inside or write something in there. But I've got these sequins that match perfectly. So I'm going to use these on here. Okay, and I'm going to use my glue here. And I think I'll put it below here. And you can put them anywhere, but I just like it right below my little sentiment there.
And all you need is a little bit of that art glitter glue. Dries very quickly. And see, in, in that pink, that looks so cute. Just to add a little bit of sparkle. Let's see if you can see that. Just little details. So you have a really cute um, card. Very simple to make. I'm going to go ahead and do the blue one and come back and show you what it looks like and show you some other, I, some other cards that I made. Okay, so the blue is all done. And I just went up the sides with my sequins there. And it's just a way to add a little bit of shine to it. And I'm really loving the way that turned out. Here's the pink again. And tell me if you like that light brown kind of paper bag colored uh, background color or you like that light. I'm kind of leaning toward this one for some reason. I really like the way that looks. That off-white base. And just some of the other ones I did. These are a little bit smaller. I was just playing around with sizes. I did the blue again. Here's a pink. I mean, I really had fun and matching up the se I happened to have sequins that matched almost every single color of that uh, Dewdrop ink. I put gold on here. So adorable. So like I said, you can make a lot of these. Here's another one in brown. Kind of a beige color. So those Dewdrop inks, these are all in that set of Dewdrop inks really pretty and there's like the purple so if you are new to stamping or you just want to add lots of inks into your your uh, stamping tools um, I would definitely recommend these and I will put the link below these are in May May's store like I said before and I'll also put the links to the stamp sets also so I hope this inspired you to go ahead and get stamping. It's such a fun, fun thing to do. And thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I hope you like this design team creation and I'll see you real soon. Bye.